What can I say? I love HBO. Guys, Sharp Objects is one of the newest shows of HBO. I'm a little late to the review game of this show, uh, but I can honestly say I did watch this show uh, once a week at 9 p.m. on HBO. Um, but I needed time to think about this show. Uh, this is a show starring Amy Adams as a woman who comes back to this town where she used to live to analyze and report on this murder um, of these two uh, teenagers, I believe it was. Um, but it's also awkward because she hasn't seen her family in a long time, so there's a lot of drama behind that. Um, but she also has a lot of coping to deal with. And I'm not going to reveal it because as the show goes on, you slowly start re revealing what exactly it is that's going on with her, uh, both in her past and present. Amy Adams gives a great performance. I, I won't be surprised if she gets nominated for uh, an Emmy this time next year. Because she's really good. She gives a nuanced performance. Um, and honestly, this show is all about the mood. This is a show that is very slow. But at the same time, it's all worth it, I would say, based on the last 30 seconds of the ending. The season finale, which actually I should say the miniseries finale because apparently it's only going to be one season, it is jaw-dropping. I'll be honest, I was surprised. Like, the remaining 45 minutes of the episode, I was like, pretty standard issue. You know, you had a show that was really, really focusing on psychology, and then it's like, eh, pretty standard issue, uh, you know, crime drama show. And then the last 30 seconds hit, and it made me look at the entire show in a different light. And I liked that aspect a lot. I have to be honest, I think that final 30 seconds has a lot to do with my overall enjoyment of the show. Because, yeah, it's well shot, and yeah, it's well acted. But at the end of the game, I mean, I, I just, I wasn't enthralled by this show. I was, but the last 30 seconds made me enthralled in retrospect. Uh, because of what it had to do to get there. And I don't know, it just, it trusted the audience, and I trusted the show, and I found the payoff to be well worth it. And that's all I'm going to say. As far as negatives go, I mentioned it a little bit. It is a slow show. It it's, takes its time with everything, which I, I'm fine with. I'm, I'm truly fine with that in shows. But I feel as though this director who also directed Dallas Buyers Clubs and uh, Big Little Lies as well as Demolition... I feel as though he just enjoys overall testing audience's patience, which I'm fine with. You know, I, I am fine with. But I don't know, just something about his style just kind of feels off sometimes. And I feel as though it's just the same kind of thing with this show. But nonetheless, I'll definitely be re recommending uh, Sharp Objects. Uh, I'll be giving it a three and a half and a five star rating. Or for those that like hot sauce letter grade, Texas Pete Hot Sauce. Yep. It's solid, it's, uh, you know, overall good, but, you know, still some things that kind of, you know, lessen the rating. But nonetheless, guys, Sharp Objects, did you guys see it? Did you guys not see it? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget the subscription, notification bell, and I'll uh, catch you guys later.